it right through and clutches the round. The ROG clutch presented to you by Republic of Gamers and brought to you here in this game by Jeremy. So this is the dangerous thing about having such a detached lurk, right? Because that round could have gone either way. But thankfully, Jeremy is such a cracked One player. Enemy He's just so accurate and so One deadly. Enemy remaining. Yeah, well, the logical sense would be try to get the guy planting, or rather defusing first, but he was a little wary of what if he's just going to stick it and I'm not going to have enough time? Maybe I'll just have to kill this other guy first. Now we see Secret, they're already employing the Vatanal to dubstep. The same setup, or at least a very similar one. This time around, they're leaning towards more elbow control than they are cave. And the same wall has been employed by Action PH. Eman still waiting for any aggressors to really go for that orb. But that is not the case. A Secret, they try to crawl up. They try to deny whatever mid control. Or at least control towards elbow. And they dash in. Dubstep finds a very, very, uh, or at least attempting to be a sneaky Georgie. Batman falls as well. So action PH, this bonus, or at least this eco round might be already in the Spike books. Play. Vash just waiting for the swing outside of elbow. He is so confident nobody's going to come through mid because of the trademark placement from Jeremy. Maybe he's just going to be a tad bit afraid, but not so much. This, like, Double stack from Doctor and RU. Lovely, uh, lovely things, but yeah, it's just the exits, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I feel like three kills, maybe. Potentially, I feel like this is the map where we get distracted the most because just the nature of trying to. Here. Huh. <laughs> that was pretty well choreographed. Just a random dart. Standing ahead. It doesn't actually hit them. They still have to die to spike though. Oh, there you go. Very well timed, very well timed. Synchronized swimming. Synchronized dying to the event horizon of the spike. Yep. Hmm. Action PH, they have a gun round here, so I wonder what Secret has cooked up. Maybe trying to funnel themselves towards cave might not be the greatest idea considering they've been doing the same wall. Or at least on the side of APH. Unless they've goaded uh putting goaded the doctor to rotating towards B. Which they have is the case. So maybe a caves play here might be the right idea. But instead, they put more attention towards uh, elbow again. But this time we have the viper trying to commit towards mid. Eman mm. pushes himself a little backwards, as this is probably going to be a fairly innocuous period of the round. Oh, this is bad. Ooh, I like that timing from Jeremy. Batman forced to just dash away the death of a, of the doctor there. I was going to say the doctor saving his wall. Actually, not a bad idea because he can always use that for a retake. retake he might yeah. just want to play very passive, you know, wait for a bit of that control. It's better off if Georgie's the one that actually peaks this, um, these angles here because he, uh, he does have the mobility with the dash. But just losing that fight to Jeremy really stretches the, the margin of defense here for APH. Georgie, though, already looking for a fight. Immediately just refragged. They immediately knew where he was going to be coming from. RU still hits the shot through the smoke, which is absolutely perfect right now for APH. But hello, Vash? Actually tags RU? Dubs have already looking for the immediate punish. This is how much clean synergy they have. That's absolutely crazy. Now, Emon. Gonna have to get closer here. The flash is also maybe allowing access for a Batman. Not really gonna happen. He does play in the back end of the site. Does have another blind to work with. But they do have a oh. rough idea of where he is. And this uh, the snake bite from Borkum does not allow Emon to push through even further. The wraparound from Dubstep. And a clean one once again from Secret. Does this force them into an ego? Yes, it does. That works. They did, I think they could upgrade to Marshalls, potentially in some of them. Are you specifically has a, a tiny bit of extra money? And as soon as I m mention that this round might be innocuous for a secret and the rest, they explode. And the caster's curse raises its head. Beautiful side take, as you mentioned, but not a lot of resistance on backside. I honestly would have thought that the KO would have played a little closer. But that is what it is as we move on towards another round. Dubstep this time will try to take this orb. We'll have blades ready if ever. Maybe they'll relegate that to somebody else's wits. Is one away and Jeremy bests another pushing player. And this time it's Georgie, a crucial whiff on the doctor as well. Tags up Jeremy, so that's going to push him away just a tiny bit. And this window pressure from Secret still has been pretty successful. They 
do put him there still. Gonna cut off the rotations, but Emin has a bit of an angle. It's not deep enough to spot anyone out yet. But he is going to see dubstep, and that's the last thing he'll see alive. As Wits and the rest of the boys, they crawl up. Borkum. And now we have the Doctor. Okay, we have everybody on the map, apparently. Everybody wants to have a little bit of screen time. Uh, secret. They have a pretty open site to take here. Honestly, they have uh, a breadth of a decision to make because... With the dwindling numbers, Action Page, they have to settle for a retake. And it's not the case. The Doctor gets found again, and this time by Borkum. Doctor has got oh, to be dear. the only player that I've seen here in BCDPH so that is not a duelist, but really favors playing weapons that I feel like are much more... A gift. Maybe just better off used by duelists. And, and again... It's I mean, because of the mobility, right? You, you, you can yeah. get away with like hitting op shots as a sentinel or a controller, which the doctor has done many, many times. Last but again, Long. if you're not able to get that first kill and everybody just rushes up against it's dead. You, exactly. That's always the punish play that you can do against operators that are played uh, with non-duelists. It's the it's that that not access to mobility that really ruins everything for you. Good dart though. Dubstep and Georgie, he's the one that you want to have the sniper on. Look at how he just hits those shots. I mean, it would be fine if we see him play a little more passive, but he's taking so many forward angles, right? Uh, Georgie does have that operator, and it is his weapon. He finally finds the lurking Jeremy, the first in five rounds, it seems. The Seekers aren't going to come out from it, so this is quite a big investment. They are going to put themselves in a pretty dangerous situation. Gonna hit him, it's gonna make him a little bit vulnerable, but elbow control is something. This is a mad lad, and he even finds already the adjustment onto the doctor. And that is a highlight if I've ever seen one. Borkum finds a Batman, Georgie's all on his lonesome with this operator. He has to find at least one. But secret, they're too smart for this. They don't want to deal with those long range angles, they have no more smokes, and that's exactly why Jesse has been found. Their post plan slightly more weakened, no snake bites on the side of Borkum. They're forced to concede, they don't have enough time. Yeah. Not enough money for an extra buy round, too. Here. I was going to say, I think it was you or Illustrato Here. that uh, pointed this out to me before that if you don't, if the first person doesn't clear that angle, the second person will definitely not. I mean, Ari did yeah. check it for like a split second, but he wasn't expecting anyone to be there at all. Georgie does not want to peek, but he almost had maybe this chance to get the shot onto Dubs that if he has a second or so to utilize, but. You see there the full control, the trigger discipline from Wits. Get so much value off of that one. I really thought that, yeah, they're gonna have to go back. So, there it was. That was a half clear, yeah. It was a quick clear instead of an actual full commit clear, which has been, I've noticed that it is much the case in, the, in Valorant specifically. Because you can half clear in a lot of other tactical shooters, but if you half clear in Valorant, you're kind of asking for trouble. Yeah, and as a duelist like that, uh, spe specifically there, you kind of have to look forward. So it's the second guy's job to somewhat clear that, but he also has to keep his head on a swivel for a trade in case it happens. And talk about yeah. that, Jesse opens up, the doctor falls, and everybody wow. else is following in suit remaining. too. It is an eco, so again, what do we expect? Yeah, I was going to say, um, compared to like CS, right? The corners in Valorant, or the pockets in Valorant, are much deeper, so you really have to commit to that. That was the thing that I think we all kind of figured out back in like 2020, 2021. If you don't full uh -huh. clear an angle, it is just going to allow a defender or somebody cheeky enough to play there to go undetected. I mean, Valorant is a game that, uh, One it is a tactical remaining. shooter, but it hinges on good decisions. Like, Again, mechanics are very much present, but just the nature of the maps and the nature of how the utility plays, it's banking on how well, or at least how well you decide, you know, how well you can assess the situation. You step back, much like APH right now, they're going to take a bit of a breather. Assess why is Secret running us over right now? What is missing in the defense? Which rotation should be what? And who should be watching where? Just to, yeah. you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, the... Sometimes there's a lot of players on that copium that, you know, oh, if I was playing this tactical shooter. <laughs> no, dude, you're just bad at Valorant because you're 
I was about to say you're stupid. I was about to say you're stupid, but I'm not gonna call anybody stupid, nor am I gonna say that your decision making is probably horrible. That's why you're stuck wherever you are. Whoa. No, I wouldn't say that because I am a nice person. So whatever I said is the exact opposite of what I'm trying to say. Now, yeah, yeah. action PH. Having a little bit of trouble on this defensive side here. They are fairly aggressive, so they want to take a, as much map control. I feel like they want to take so much mid control, right? But Secret's just not giving them anything there whatsoever. Yeah. Absolutely true. And Secret doesn't really have to push mid to get mid control, technically. They just have to go through elbow, and then anybody on double doors will have to fear that particular angle. Because again, yeah. if you're pushing through elbow, you always have that safety of the wall behind you. But anybody peeking through double doors is going to get freaked out if nobody is uh, at least doubling the angle from nest or something. So that does leave somebody with less, um, less safety to work with, less cushion to work with Ugh. georgie though oh that was really good he took i believe no damage at all from that encounter against dubstep and he's gonna double up onto the fight because he did already use the dash he's gonna use that as a double up maybe and it's good enough that it actually spots out wits who was just jumping up on the barrel this isn't donkey kong wits it's valorant and Borkum wants a triple peaky angle on georgie but i feel like oh, georgie this time should Whoa, wow. never mind okay i retract my statement but the damage be done, right? They've lost two already. And as you can see, it was the Viper who took calls. The Tunnel Snakes rule. 30 seconds as left. Borkum will drive that nail into down. APH's potentially coffin here. Again, still no rounds on the board. This is looking far better though. They have four players still left alive. And Secret still have not managed to find meaningful Welcome map control. They still kind of have world. to wait here for Jeremy. But there's not a lot of time, so the spray down is going to come. Maybe a little missed time, but Jesse a. will eat One that fragment. Remaining. Are they going to get the spike down? No, they won't. And that's the round for Action PH. Taking one for themselves finally. And this could potentially invigorate them. Inspire them to take more. Georgie is that one player. That one player that never fears to reach the angle. Maybe the other one would be G on Sanity. I think it would be play on somewhat the same spectrum of one enemy remaining. ideology. And it really has allowed, I think, both APA, Akshan PH and Alpha Esports Pro to flourish. Right? Because, because they're not really afraid to repeat these angles, they have the chance to catch off opponents that might think they might have conceded, yielded, and because of their aggressive and great aim, they're able to get these kills. Again, it uh, allows opportunity for their teams to, um, to, to bounce back. What do you think? I think it is. I don't want to think. I want to <laughs> watch the game. No, I'm kidding. Uh, again, it's just that fearlessness that can be a very double-edged sword, as you mentioned, because it will net them a few kills. But this yeah. is kind of what Secret is banking on. They know APH is a team that double dips. Triple dips it uh, sometimes. And maybe that's potentially what's causing them to lose so many of these rounds because Secret, what they're doing is that they're making sure that they have control over wherever they want to fight first. And quite frankly, it's been working out very, very well for them. Dubstep still on that 9-2 rampage and everybody else on a positive KD. On Action PH, this time it's a Batman that's you having a bit play? of a struggle. Let's still play. hasn't found his first frag, but he is a microwave type of player. One shot is all it takes. And he's going to be on... Uh, on once again uh, elbow control still very much present for secret but work from look where he is now he's managed to crawl up with no resistance whatsoever potentially any rotator would not expect this unless are you hard clears it but he goes for the elbow round and said he will see jeremy which is information that's been given many times oh, out not. now work positions himself to wait for anybody uh, silly enough to cross into double doors but i love the patience that action page is showing now I think they yeah. might have to concede the site though. Maybe put uh, one of their players a little more passive towards CT. But this cave control, or, or rather this mid-tunnel control, still undermines as of the moment. 40 seconds. I wonder if they're going to go for a pinch play from tunnel or B main, or just go B main altogether and maybe have Jeremy just long lurk or delay lurk to push on tunnels there. Regardless of what does happen, no Batman on. was on top of the rook castle however you want to call it 30 shot where he follows up beautiful stuff a batman does get punished crossfire has already been pre-prepared by the rest of 
GTH, Georgie hitting some absolute nutters. 4K for Georgie alongside a fat man. And APH dismantled the op uh, the offensive of Secret. That works. He, he could have very well dashed out, but he was like, nah, I got this. Don't awesome. worry about it. And now he yeah. suddenly has blades again. That man had a very beautiful first kill here. Repositions. Pulls so much attention. Actually, no, left. he already dashed out once. Might be. Getting very confused One with the jet mechanics, remaining. apparently. Uh, but uh, again, Georgie's just really that type of player. Anyone really on Action PH, or at least that old Action PH core, you give them one kill, they're probably gonna take more. They're probably gonna keep going. And I'm wits. He flashes out of cave, uses the Trailblazer, clears close, can't fully clear it. Maybe, maybe they're trying to sell a fake here. But APH, they remain very steady. They still haven't moved too much. They have pretty much mid control as of the moment, as soon as a Batman, or at least as, as long as he stays alive. Come on, I didn't mean to jinx him, guys. Don't do it. Oh dear, Asurai. Seems that the cursing's a little strong. I know you're trying to hide your laughter, but it's really not working. As Georgie might find... No, it's not no. him to find him, but the trade is there at least. At the very least, the trade is there. A minute left. As long as the defenders can get another kill just like that. Dubstep falls. Another spike. Has to make its way somewhere, but with a man disadvantage, or at least an even playing field, Bad with player, all this utility, the Doctor and Evan come alive. They deny anything happening on the side of Secret. And APH are stringing, all, stringing along all those rounds. Dude, a gift. APH. Just. Yes. Sells on another <laughs> level. Look at the charge out here, just. Sneaking through. Doctors has had enough. You know what? Yeah, I've given enough time. I I'm done fiddling with my snipers and my shotguns. Finally, a, a rifle in his hands is more than enough to clear up the round. There is still so much buying power, though, for Team Secret. This is actually insane. That but, they do. Yeah, this just means that APH can just keep getting good rounds where they can just, you know, mow down Team Secret's uh, mental. That even is something that actually happens to Team Secret. Mm -hmm. Very rare. It's a very rare occurrence if ever it does. I mean, everybody's human. Borkum does find an inhumane kill on both Georgie and a Batman. That's going to open up the site. They've been playing the same setup. Argy tries to find a little bit of value here, and he does. He finally finds the Slippery Snake. So not a lot of map control on the side of Secret. APH was still left guessing. I think it's an A hit. Look, the movement. They're already pulling them away. Does the sound spot give them away? Yes, it does. We see Argy try to double back. Emma is still very wary of the lurking. Uh, whoever it is lurking, it's Wits. Look at Argy. Still trying to make his way towards CT. Oh, does he find contact? It's Wits that does. And oh. Wits that falls. It's 2v3. The post-plant situation. Jesse, unexpected aggression here. But he falls back. Has he been silenced by the zero point? Not entirely sure. No, no he Welcome doesn't. In. He has the bolt out. Oh, but that gives him away. The doctor knows where to spray him. The adjustment by Emma and gets a third for himself. Even gets a fourth. And Action no PH are coming alive, making this much more competitive than the beginning of this half. Emma is so. F Emma is so fast at just clearing that recon dart. That's like a, that's like a, excuse me, a standard play from Secret, right? Throw at a mm. util, peek as the util is being destroyed by your opponent, that's and then somehow he does encounters both. Breaks the recon and then breaks the will of Dubstep in that uh, in that encounter. It was a really big thing to actually have also beaten down on Emma, not because of his aim, but I would say also because of his null command, which in a three versus three, and even a two versus three, would have really helped out the case for APH there. That being said, is Secret down and dusted in terms of util? Absolutely not. They still have money to buy for days. Days upon and days. They just got. So much cash. Yeah. Oh, that is a missed opportunity, unfortunately. They do have quite a bit of paper in their bag, but yeah, they do burn that at the very least. But Georgie, who's been finding so many of these op shots, cannot fortunately back his teammate up here as Dubstep's found himself in the front of the site. Doesn't find the W on that jet duel as Georgie, who's an absolute assassin, a smooth operator, swaps it out. And maybe that was the death of him as Wits is holding. He gets a second. Can he find a third? He tries to swing out. There's no flash to help as a zero pointer. This no oh, command no. is doing so much utility damage. And Emman gets the last kill. He's been absolutely searing this last three rounds, Asurai. Emma's just so sharp. 
so unfortunate for for Wits there. He had five bullets in the chamber. Thought it was going to be enough, but Last round I believe the, the, the wall was just enough of a cushion that Emon survived the encounter and still forced in onto the fight. Dubstep was just pretty good at this entry fragging. And Georgie, I think he didn't expect that Wits was going to be really there, good. but he might eat. One enemy he remaining. saw the, the dog and everybody was like checking the cross back onto the site. Wits did not cross that, so... I was wondering what what that was about. Maybe he wasn't expecting Wits to go for the quick little punish, but regardless of what happened, APH, what was it? This is like four rounds in a row now from like five to one, then six to one, and now just mm -hmm. Yeah. Still, I can't believe that Secrets still have enough money after this round, but they really don't want to give this side to APH because we know how APH is. Again, that streaky nature is very much present. Not their main weapon anymore, but a weapon nonetheless. Jeremy finds a Batman who's really not had a great game so far. Look at this, they make a mad dash towards B. The rotations, are, they attempt to come in. The trap has been destroyed, so mid control might not be in the favor of Secret. Nonetheless, we still see Borkum try to Spike planted. maybe cut off the rotations here. They might need that wall and that Viper utility. Actually, no, it's already been put down on A. As Dubstep slices up, are you? Uh, no battles on the site yet. Eman could potentially be the hero again. He doesn't have a null command this time, and Georgie doesn't have the leverage to really try to go for a frontal assault. And Eman might be back to back with, uh, with Borkum here, but it's Borkum who best him. The doctor is the last one alive. Can he be surgical? Can he be precise? But instead, it's him that gets lobotomized by wits. Welcome to my world. Switching sides. Still a very, very clear cut uh, first half here. Seven to five is not really in the favor of anybody. I mean, you can't always say that. Don't you think you got those two rounds? But that was the same thing that we saw when oh, yeah. uh, when split happened, and you saw how that uh, unfolded. One Rabble. enemy remaining. There's just Borkum's something lurk. about, yeah. There's just something about Breeze that naturally makes me drowsy. I mean, it's not a boring map at all. I love playing this map. I love watching teams play this map. Yeah, but man, yeah, yeah. maybe I'm missing the beach just a little too much. I mean, who doesn't you know want to go to the beach? We're right? Filipinos. We'll leave. We'll, we'll, we live in. Is it an archipelago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. More so yes, than it others. is. So I mean, it feels like home I... to us. Oh yeah, why do I miss the beach though when it's literally 10 minutes away from me? But, yes. that's the this halftime podcast, that's right, it looks like we're trailing off just a tiny bit again. Yeah, Gotta reel it back in like we reel fish. But... I would love to go fishing too, honestly. I would absolutely oh, yeah. love to go fishing. Secret, they're still yeah. fishing for this W. I'm curious to see how they're gonna adapt their defensive rotations here now since Jeremy was always trying to abuse or trying to set up some sort of pressure on that lurk. Uh, I would feel I still feel like that's super super dangerous considering how long it takes for him to go to one side and uh, to another. Yeah. I will argue though that if Team Secret actually get a clean take on a site with only four people, this does allow that lurk for a lot more pres pressure play. Of that course, as you mentioned, there is that pros and cons to it and everything. But Team Secret are all, always okay with that because I think they're just they just rely not really rely but they trust on each other's um, immediate ability to just perform, right? Uh -huh. Also, speaking of performing, as we saw in that uh, mid round stats, a Batman is actually struggling right now in terms of the kills, and he has arguably the the agent that I think he would have maybe maximized off, right? the impact. Yeah, exactly, because he has a chamber. He's got basically everything that could be used to just get multi kills to ramp to rampage against secret but it hasn't happened for him and i think part of that as well is he just cannot find a good position and here's the thing about chamber right is he's good at being able to reposition but what happens to that location that you abandon as he uses the rendezvous it gets immediately forfeited oh. by team C, uh, by your team, and that means that your opponent can just take it very easily. And now, as the round begins, Dubstep and Georgie, both Jets, oh, already out of commission. Uh, I didn't think that would miss, but apparently it did. As Wits is the lone man on the side here, that dash, or rather that bolt, is going to force them to fight for backside. They succeeded doing that. Jesse has been an absolute assassin fighting too. Can he find a third? No, it's not. It's Aryu to find his third kill. 
the man trying to hold on the flag and he does so successfully. Jeremy can body shot everybody here with whatever bullets he has on his trade headhunter. That he does. And he knows it. He can smell it. But this crossfire is going to be absolutely lethal. He can pick up that ghost for a bit of an upgrade. But he pays no mind to it. Pays no attention. Are you trying to hold down Zombs? And Eman trying to hold down Elbow. That is not going to help the case of action pace whatsoever. But if he finds that land... Mmm, are you disgusting though. Yeah. Ooh. At that angle, I, I think Ari had first dibs actually spotting the peek out from yeah. uh, Jeremy. So if you probably see his that perspective, he would have seen the head first. Plus, I think the barrel on the headhunter is actually pretty huge. Same with like the, the tour de force. Perfect. So if you try to jiggle that as aggressive, I think it was definitely RU that spotted One just him before man. he spotted RU. Even though he knew that the recon dart was thrown out there. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. No, I mean, he I saw the head so. first. Yeah. yeah, he saw the body first before he saw the headhunter. So it's something that you kind of have to consider. Uh, once again, Action PH showing why they are so incredibly uh, impressive on the side of the offensive offensive team here. Now, Georgie has a Bulldog, has the range advantage and the gun advantage over Jesse. You know how damaging classics can be, especially up close. And there it is in full display, but can't find a second as Jesse, as Georgie and the Doctor, they open up the site, and suddenly A is that much more vulnerable. <gasps> okay, oh. never mind. I was about to say Dubstep's about to go wild, but the drop was not on the base, but instead on his head. The spike is gonna go down. Jeremy and Wits, tall order in front of them. Spike planted. We have to go for this either way. One more shot on the headhunter for Jeremy here. If he can find Georgie as he tries to lurk through uh bridge here, it would be really good. Although Georgie repositions, I think he, they were thinking uh Careful. Predicting that there is going to be that double peak on double doors. Wits has got to make some noise here because Jeremy cannot really push through remaining. without getting cleared out by Georgie. Yeah, there it is. Mm, I think he's just going to wait. Maybe make him second ahead. guess if he rotated through a main or something. Oh, he flashed and... Oh, no. Yeah, he flashed and blinded absolutely nobody. That recon I think even spotted him too. Yeah, I think he just wanted to let the round end already. Had no money anyway, so not that big of a deal. Secret and Action PH, a very, very close series already. Had a nail biter of a first map. It looks like it's a nail biter of a follow up. My goodness. Dubstep has been pretty sharp with his uh, Sheriff play lately. Uh, today has been really emphasizing it as well. Only good for one, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh dear me, this is Action PH. They take mid control. They had this on their mind when they were defending. They try to deny so much space away from Secret. But looks like they try to push into caves. It's not meant to be. This Action PH have found yet another position where they've overrun. Secret, they're making a mad scramble. Where can, where can they rotate? Is it safe? So many questions lingering on their mind. Ooh. Actually, more so that Wits falls, but Jesse, this has been one of his one best maps remaining. recently. But eventually, he will fall too. I'm a good shot. Jeremy finds the doctor, but this gives him an understanding of where he is. Georgie. This is going to be close. I don't think Jeremy Spike even knows planted. that Georgie is going to be here at the right side of McDonald's. And there you go. Love Koto. Got to love Georgie's angle there. <gasps> okay. You think you're so slick. Thing. You're so slick. That was not subtle at all, by the way. That was insanely like on the nose. <laughs> I know. Low hanging. I'm a good shot. I love fruits. I love them low hanging fruits. Mm -hmm. right Easy to pick here. up. Easy to pick up. All right. Just buy them from the grocery, bro. Why do you wait on trees? Anyway, we have secrets. Huh? Pressure. You're way, you don't want to go to the groceries because it, there's a lot of pressure as are you and the rest of Action Page is doing exactly that towards the mid side of this map, the middle portion of this map, sorry. The secret lose a key member in this defense, Jeremy, who had that headhunter who could have had great potential in getting a freebie or two. <laughs> Nevertheless, we can't discount the rest of the players that are still alive on the secret side. But the positions there fairly far away from each other here. We have Warcom on the 
anti cave position but this time he has to move he will spot out that trap not entirely sure if he wants to get rid of that give that ping away let the opposition know that there's a potential flank but he has to make a choice he has to do it anyway Georgie, and the rest of the boys they try to jump in comes up gets one is he good for one only one as jesse trades in with the uh marshall and already a pretty decent pretty decent bonus round for secret or at least the bonus half by spike planted oh borgo's gonna be able to pick up a vandal here this is actually gonna be good because they're all really all looking towards spawn and tunnels they've already spotted borgo but i don't think they'll, they don't, don't think they know that wits is actually here on the cross are you is waiting swings it out wits comes in but the crossfire with doctor Swift Retribution and APH. They're getting advantages here, Rav. They're breaking the the tie 9 to 7. Looking pretty good for the Sakshan roster. Are we going to see yet another three map series? Because it looks like it. Unless they just pull this back, down. it's very likely that Action will ride this momentum right until the very end, or at least when that sudden crash hits them. But a beautiful side take nonetheless. Borkum had an idea of what to do. Enemy remains. A little too Last solid on that hold, despite falling. At least action PH, at least, at the very least. Very, very strong on those trades. Now, this time around, sorry, they might go for a fast B hit, but look at this wall. It really might be problematic for them to do so immediately. So Hall's take is the name of the game. They crawl up, they get spotted. Uh-oh, and Jesse's gonna have a field day with this. But no, the doctor escapes! What? That didn't hit him. Well... That was a very expensive scouting tool. But not, look at this. Still not dissuaded from crawling up halls. His action page. Jesse, a little myth shock about dart. that one. Ooh, he uses that shock dart to try to find... Ouch. Actually tags up well, Georgie quite a bit. Right here. Yeah. Again, this is the nerfed patch for Sova. So his shock dart shouldn't be as... Um, painful as it was before, but it still does some damage, as you mentioned. A little bit of that owie factor. The owie factor. Very interesting choice of words and a very interesting way to describe. Oh. Dubstep, trigger discipline at first, but no, he will actually give a Batman a back scratch here. Jesse. Oh, heartbreaker for Emmon here. Maybe they're playing a little too far off each other. I'm not entirely sure where the trades are. Are you as one present for one? But Georgie falls as he is left alone. We've seen him clutch this, or at least we've seen him clutch in a similar position. Now this time around, a secret comes back. They come to life. And maybe this is the overheat, Astra. Right? We saw so many individual duels fall in the way of secret. I would say as well, because Georgie uh, was forced to take damage and dash, even though he wasn't knocked down by the Hunter's Fury, right? It still, I think, mitigates some of the aggression that APH wanted to do because they really, uh, as I mentioned before, it's not, not every single time now, but they still rely somewhat on Georgie's ability to open up certain avenues of attack here. And him not having the dash and him taking some fatal damage without um, a healer in their, in their roster, I think also kind of hurt the chances there of APH of what they wanted to do on halls. That's why Georgie left. They allowed Emma to just do one thing there. But other than that, I think... Even though Vash didn't get much kill with the Hunter's Fury, he got a lot of battle off of it. No, Wits! Oh. Uh, he was reloading. Ooh, that's... Caught uh, backpedaling. Yeah. yeah. Big blow, though. Ooh, it is a Jeremy. big blow. It is a death within the sight. So now that A is going to be much more vulnerable, but Dubstep holding B strong still. The Doctor falls, so that that uh, toxic wall and that toxic orb is not going to be in play, which is so, so crucial in whatever take you want to do. But it seems that they're interested in taking CT. Jesse remaining. Bash will not wait, then does not wait, doesn't need to. He finds two. A Batman finally finds him, but he is on his lonesome with a quarter of health remaining at 30%. Jeremy and Dubstep, honestly, they have a very dangerous crossfire. Dubstep doesn't even need to aim for the head for that one. Why does everybody from Team Secret love this whoosh bat? I forgot what it's called. Hey. They just call it the whoosh bat. It's the Radiant Crisis bat. Ah, thank you. This is the best. And it's because it's sight. secret colors. Black and white? Is it not? I mean, it's silver, so it's, it's close, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, again, just a slow, methodical 
peek out here from Team Secret. And I think it's the first, or that last round was the first round where we saw Jeremy actually have an operator in his hands. So they've kind of committed a different uh, role for him to start doing now, other than just lurking, uh, creating map control. He's going to be holding a little bit more of a passive angle, but still getting some massive map control with his op. If he can hit those shots, which I think we saw him be able to do once or twice last round, this is really going to hurt APH. And I think they've actually called a timeout due to that one big fact. Because, first things first, um, hmm, I'm looking at it. There is some utility that they can use to flush out Jeremy. But without the null command, they will really have to rely on either Emon or RU to force him out of a uncomfortable spot. And if he doubles up with somebody onto a site, let's say like A or or B here, and they can break the util, the blade or the recon dart, he can just be very comfortable staying in one angle and just doing shooty shooty bang bang. But I think he's not gonna be very passive. He's gonna go aggressive to onto mid as he saw the flash play. come through on short or on the um, mini map with wits there. They're gonna go to isolate the fight here. I like this. They're gonna compress their push so that they don't really get caught out in the open. And Wits, even though he flashes through this, won't really get a punish. And this allows Axis again, the Doctor, to use that Viper Spit to plant the spike down and oh. for Georgie to almost hit those blades. That was almost a hit on those blades. So expensive already on the side. Actually, for oh, both Georgie. sides here. He does find Jesse, so that Blade Storm's gonna reset just a tiny bit. Oh, does he have it av available still? Yes, he does. Spike down is almost guaranteed here. What can Secret pull out of their hat? They don't have the recon dart, the very, very utility. They would need to flush it out. But how did Doctor get tagged up so badly? Still one HP. It looks like he might find one, but instead it's the Doctor getting absolutely annihilated, obliterated. And the Mad Man comes alive, gets a huge double. And Secret, they could not fend off the action PH attack. Very smart from Akshan. They figured out that fight. If you have a sniper still up and running for you, we will just look for an avenue utility that we can use to layer that off with the Doctor's Viper Pit, and then Georgie, who I think was just about one to two blades remaining already, refreshes Charlie with Mike, the kill onto move. Bash. That was really huge because Bash was a really pivotal factor of being able to help them clear the site. Because again, Recon Dart is a really good counter. To uh, to the Viper skin. Anyways, Dubstep is going to be into the corner. Repositions doesn't get any more kills than not. What ending. is coming in for the crossfire with the 3k? Now, Georgie, hold on. This is Georgie, APH's star player. Always good for a possible clutch scenario, but he's been tagged up in Borkum. Uh, yeah. Thirsty for the kill, thirsty for the chase, and they equalize once again for the 10 to 10. They will not yield, they will not break, and Team Secret hold on. What happened? J Bash stood still in no man's land and managed to fight so many players. Then the attention was taken away, just the timing is so excellent. Look at that, he turns around and like, you know what? You can't kill me in your first shot, I will do that to you. Trade eventually came, but a little too late on the side of action PH. This time, on the brink of breaking their bank. As Secret's still very, very comfy with the momentum that they've found, at least in that round. Now action PH, they want to go go for the good old reliable which is take mid Ugh. at the same time oh. dubstep's already caught a whiff of this plan so he's not gonna ha not or gonna whiff himself or, but he's gonna hit have an important shot onto the forehead of georgie the spear the, the edge of the spear has been broken or on the side of action ph and the utility is not looking too strong for them emin is still quite a few kills away from or actually just a couple from the null command but borkum playing a little bit of an off angle Wit's still very wary of any uh, counterplay coming from mid. But Secret still fairly spread out thinly. Borkum is actually going to be on a perfect swing here. Never mind. He got overwhelmed. Right here. Timing on that snake bite was not as good as I think they were hoping for. Recon Guard is absolutely monumental here. And it allows Dubs to have some free information. Line it up. Standing. Five HP in a dream gets hit by Wits. It's all down to Emon. It's been one hell of a shot, but this time it's all gonna be for naught as Team Secret get their first advantage after a long one. But it's just one round. APH can always rebound from this. I think they've Stop lost two rounds in a row plus the spike plants. So that's gonna be roughly what is it, like 2,200. 
Okay, they can buy it. That's what's important. That is the most important bit here. After big, fighting off a little too much. Now when they hit, when they go for these hyper aggressive pushes, they haven't really found a spot where they can really hold on. Let's see here, they're turning up the heat one round away from each other still. But look at this asteroid. The, oh man, it, it's painful to see Ecos on Breeze specifically because it's just so easy to get run over by the rifles on this map. Mm. Nonetheless, oh. they still have something cooking, right? I mean, Action Page are just not going to give up this uh, this map that easily. We know how ferocious this team can be. They have two rifles yeah. and it's on Georgie and Aryu. Yeah, so if they can... If they have that opportunity to give somebody the rifle and the full shield by the way because george is really committed to this one i'm i'm not sure if he's going to be able to buy up into the next one i don't think this the, he can and he doesn't he will not have the ability to use his blade storm as well unless he gets like a 4k or four charges in this particular round as well this would mean that he has committed if not everything to this one already let me if you're reading uh, if you're being antsy or being uh, jittery, you can half shield and probably vandal. Anyways, Emon has activated null command. They're trying to pinch in. Shock and awe onto play. Jeremy still somehow actually TP's away, which is good. Oh. Morgan gets overwhelmed. This is absolutely perfect right now for APH as they try and get actually kill after kill. Still, Jeremy finds two. <gasps> Georgie drops down to Jeremy. That is huge. He was the one that had the vandal already in hand. And this three versus two is going to end soon. They cannot bring back Emon. And now it's already left to argue. Last Vandal into the hands of APH. 67 HP in the dream before this goes into oh, excuse me, match point. And Dubstep relinquishes that thought, that dream, that hope for APH. And I don't know if they have the capacity to full buy into that next no. round. That was it. That was I think that was their buy. Match so point. they have to go on. Oh wait, no. My, my, my math is really bad. So it was still a half buy, Aster, right? You, you set me up there, buddy. You, you set me up there. I was yeah. paying attention. I swear I was. It's just the it's numbers are so hard to keep round track the round lost bonus. <laughs> yeah, the round lost bonus. Yeah, because I, I was honestly thinking, do they have enough? But Jeremy with a heroic hold here. Yeah. Uh, it's so hard to fight people on stairs because it's, um, it's a diagonal. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It's, it's a diagonal movement. So if you haven't ah, specifically trained your shots for that, then it's almost impossible to win that out. But not for our... Very, very lovely players here who are absolutely destroyers. Now a fast mid-take is in the box for Action PH. They will get tagged up by that vulnerable, so Georgie has to be a little bit more patient. Otherwise, he might get spammed. They do get that info, but it doesn't matter. Borkum is here to hold forward, but he will fall to Emma and Jeremy, making so much value of this op. Making so much sense of this. Whoa! Oh, and even finds a Batman behind the fence! Jesse Bash steps in to take RU, and now we have the Doctor. He has to pull out something of his hat, out of his hat to make this very doable. But look at this. It's Wits staring down the angle. And he cannot win that aim duel. Wits win. has been on point, on fire. As Action PH fall before Secret, who remain under.